there are only a handful of options in Tarkov when it comes to Tarkov key runs. The run we're about to show you is on Shoreline. It is, in my opinion, the safest and most productive route in Tarkov currently. The route contains 22 jackets, a plethora of containers to loot, and in addition to that, it is 10 minutes from start to extract or less. This is also a great way to find the new streamer item, the Missam Forklift Key, or just about any other key in the jacket loot tables. At the beginning of the route, you'll have a stash at Svetli's Dead End. Make sure you snap that up before you progress into the area behind Tetris House. There's a duffel bag to the right here. And then a jacket spawn in the wooden building here. This is our first jacket. We move on here. We're going to jump over the fence into uh, the Tetris House yard. This is called Tetris House because there's a rare loot spawn in the back of the house, which I'll show you momentarily. But there are two jackets just inside the front door. There's also a loose key spawn on the chair to the left. There are several junk spawns in that area, and here is your rare tech spawn. That can sometimes be a Tetris. This time we got a USB. Moving out the front gate and getting the green crate near the tank. There is also a cottage safe key spawn in the bus that was just ahead of us by that bus stop. We did not get that. There are two stashes on this street, one by the dumpster. This is dumpster stash. There's another stash, which we rotate through later in the run, just across the road, but we don't get it right now, just for efficiency's sake. We're now approaching what is called Four Jacket House. And as you might have imagined, it's called this because there are four jackets. That's our first key. One of the nice things about this route is this area of shoreline is generally pretty deserted. There aren't a whole lot of people that run this route regularly. People find learning the village loot tables or loot areas a little bit daunting because there's so many buildings here. Uh, typical shoreline players are going to head straight into resort and uh, call it a day. But uh, yeah, we've probably run this route 10 times in a row without ever seeing a soul. So if you just need a quick and easy cash farm, this is a great way to do it. We're leaving the greenhouse now with the weapons crate and heading into what we call Five House Shed. This is a shed just to the right of Five House as you see it on your screen. There is a loose loot spawn on the bottom right there as you enter the building along with the duffel and boxes. As you approach Five House out of this shed, you have a choice to make. You can add three jackets to this route if you decide you want to go to cottages, but that does involve some risk as cottages is a high traffic area. If you do decide to loot cottages, just rotate up up the hill, loot those buildings, come back down on the right side of the road and pick up the run where you see us leave off after five house. There are not very many points of vulnerability in this run. You're typically surrounded by buildings uh, at all points of this run. So there's not a whole lot of danger of you getting killed without at least hearing your potential assailant coming from a significant distance away. There are, however, some exceptions to this, and as you leave Five House, all the way down this side of the run, you are vulnerable to the high ground, which can see in and around those buildings that you're moving between. You'll notice I check the right side periodically when passing this high ground above soccer field, as well as on the way to Cottage.
There is also a jacket in that building that we just passed, which I inadvertently missed. There are two jackets in this shed, and we're going to rotate back through to get the jacket we missed. This added a significant portion of time to our, to our overall loot run, but when you see that we still finish in under 10 minutes from start to extract, that just kind of reiterates how good this run is. You can see we're already up to 430,000 rubles approximately. It's just the cash value in addition to all the keys you're going to find doing this run. This is a great run for early wipe because there are so many junk items along this run. We're going to progress through the fence here to the left, checking that high ground on the right. Once you pass this area, you're kind of out of harm's way as far as, you know, the normal spawn rotation heading to cottages. Now all you have to worry about is people within village doing the same run or something similar to it. People who have started near Junk House have already rotated through or are right on top of you by this point, generally. And that's our last jacket in the downtown area. We're heading back for that stash that we talked about earlier in the pipe. Call this one pipe stash. It's on the side of the road here. After this, we're going to go back into uh, the Svetli area and start our rotation towards Junk House, uh, which is also in the direction of our extract. You can hit the green and white stores if you want. I did it for additional cash value since we had the space for the extra loot. Um, it can add quite a bit if you get a little bit lucky with the spawns. There is a weapon case back here as well. And then there's a green case behind the white store as well, which I like to loot. So we've now broken about 600,000 in value without even really being that efficient about what we are keeping and not keeping. We're gonna run through here. We're skipping White Store. We're gonna go in the back behind White Store and get this jacket in this house here. There are several containers which I've just ignored. I would suggest pulling up a loot map if you really wanna optimize this route uh, for the sake of expeditiousness. Obviously with the video in mind, I have skipped a few containers that aren't that important. There's another key. That's a bedroom marked key, which is worth a fortune early wipe. Here, here I am struggling, trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to do with all this loot. <laughs> You can jump these tires, go into the next area, or you can go back around, doesn't matter. There's only a few jackets left in this area. There's one in this house, and then there's one in the shed behind. Along with a stash along this fence right here. This is going to be our last jacket in this particular area. We're going to now rotate towards what's called Junk House. There uh, is an additional jacket in Junk House along with some extra spawns for cash value. We're about a minute and a half away from extract at this point, including the loot time in Junk House. So you can see this is a really fast run. Provided that you get a good spawn point for it, you have about a 50%, maybe a little bit higher than a 50% chance to spawn on the west end of the map in Shoreline, which is the end that this village is on. So it doesn't really matter which area of the village you start in you just do the same loop and then you can either go towards your path to lighthouse extract or you can continue on about the map uh, depending on what your objectives are
If you spawn on the east end of shoreline, you have some decisions to make. If you are looking for jackets specifically, you can rotate up to resort. There are two jackets outside of resort in the little brick building. Additionally, there are two more at power, or there's two more at terminal. So you can decide how you want to progress towards village and work out how you're going to incorporate those locations into your run towards village. Well, that's about all we've got for this Tarkov Key Run video. I hope it helps you, and stay safe out there. Don't forget to like, sub, and comment if this video helped you, and I'll catch you on the next one.